when, but we love George, but um, Stacy is a guy for us, right? I mean, it says when the, and it was really like leaving home for Stacy. That can, I'll never forget. He's like, you don't quit over the phone. You're coming to me. You're gonna do it, all right? And so I went there, and it was it was a sad day. But after that, I was like, okay, we're doing our thing. But I was afraid because I left right before Tony and Lance did, a little bit before. Yeah. And I was so afraid to see you because I'm like, oh, what if Tony thinks I'm, you know? And it's just funny. I saw the glue that we had, all of us together. That's one of the hardest things because we really formed a bond. And here we are today. This is the coolest thing about the documentary. It's traveling together. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of worried that it was going to come like in between you guys? Between us, because this is what we share. Those guys are doing their thing. It's cool. Good luck. And, you know, but this is who we are is what we do with our skating. And you're going to see each other and you, you feel each other's success and you get that bond. Very few people have that bond. It's not to say that, it's just you share a unique experience and you go through all the craziness together and it infuses something. So that was the hardest thing for me. It's like, what are they going to think of me? Ryan, when you bailed out of the car in the documentary, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I got the worst direction too. I can't even make it out of the mall. And I, all I do is just run. You know when you run so fast and you don't even feel the ground really? And I just think I couldn't breathe. And all I saw were trees, 360. You know, I had no idea where I was. And I just sat there and I, and I was like, how am I going to get back? I, I wasn't thinking anything. I just had to go. Horse gum. You know, <laughs> Thank you. That's a good question. Thank you. Um, freestyle since you died, you can see not many people did it as they move on. And, and it essentially stopped. Period. No more contests. And I had carried those contests for so long, I was like, oh, that's great. No more contests because whatever I, I, I did, I, I just wanted to win so I could keep it going. And then it was dragging me along, usurping the real joy from what I wanted to do, which was just skate and not lose. And, <laughs> and then when it died out from under me, it was the greatest thing. It was liberating. In one sense, it was awesome. Like, it's no fun to be an owner. It's always fun to, the joys and the learning. And so it started this whole new horizon for me. And I just wanted to do it in private. But it was horrible because everyone knew who I was. And so they'd think, oh, there's Rodney Mullen. He's, and then they would see me try to speak skate. They're like, what happened to him? You know? Like, <laughs> It was so embarrassing, <laughs> so embarrassing. Wherever I would go, it was horrible. But you gradually pick up steam, and that's what I never competed again. I won't even play checkers to this day. <laughs> and, you know, I have my own version of it, and that's what giving me that that new life of enjoying skateboarding. <laughs>